Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're um, continuing our second um, season of Saving Your Campaign. This campaign here is called The Royal Disaster. It's episode number three and I'm trying to desperately save this campaign. The first couple of missions were just dedicated to actually staying alive and in the game and now we're slowly but surely trying to creep back and uh, get a bit more territory. This here, however, is an ambush mission and I have no idea what the original mission was about. Um, hopefully the host of this game or the creator of this game has chosen a good covered ops mission that actually justifies that you could be um, getting caught. I don't know what exactly he was trying to do, however we have no other choice uh, than to try our best to get the, these um, operatives out, of, uh, out alive. So yeah, let's see. So far in the run, I I could already see that there had been a couple of significant mistakes that added up. He did not choose the roster quite well. The Geoscape was also not really clever, uh, uh, cleverly uh, connected, because he was starting in in middle of, in the middle of um, Russia, and then moved all the way down to Australia. So even a single um, even a single disruption um, via via a retaliation mission where you are losing that specific country would have almost caused him to lose all of his territory. So very, very dangerous and risky moves overall. And going into this mission here without weapon upgrades um, and with really zero upgrades whatsoever, again, another combat protocol spec um, uh, specialist. I don't know how often I've seen the combat protocol from him so far, but I sincerely hope that he will learn or at least consider that the medical protocol, specifically if you're if you're if you're suffering heavy losses and having problems of, of getting the missions done, just at least try to do it with a medical Enemy protocol. The reality is it often works far better. So moving here means when they see us, they will probably move into this direction because they don't want to be flanked. And that's actually what I'm hoping they will do. Uh, so both uh, uh, go on to Overwatch. And this is now going to be the hardest fight of the whole uh, mission. We're fighting against three enemies with only two of our operatives. All right, here we go. Come on. Well, that's one hit. Unfortunately, not enough. Ah, God damn it. Difficult. Um, I mean, yeah, we could move into here. Probably not the worst decision. I think I've got a plan. Moving to designated coordinates. Well, I had a plan and it did not work out well. Not at all. So the plan actually was I wanted to move in lob a grenade down here, remove the cover, move to here and shoot this guy. Plan clearly didn't work out because of the line of sight. I figured if he stands here he could lob a grenade at least to here, but I definitely was wrong with that assumption. Um, which means we are moving into a secure location, back here. And we could go with a combat protocol, probably one way of dealing with it. Um, we could shoot into full cover, that's another way of dealing with it. 35% is not really hot. This guy might move up to our side and flank us. And we have really very little room to work with. Um, so I guess 
the most secure way of dealing with it. You know, we could injure him and remove the cover. That's an option. But that would still mean he will probably move to here. So moving to here actually prevents this guy from moving up and flanking us. It means we haven't taken any shots, but we're at least in full cover. Kind of a misplay there, but staying in full cover means that they have a very low chance of actually hitting us. He will trigger an overwatch. Okay, I mean, one way of dealing with this here is just bombing him off of uh, the um, bombing him off of the balcony. April calling ourselves. Don't want to move. But this here could be a thing. Because it's an explosion plus four points of falling damage. Can we hit this guy? God damn it. Can I just have the right uh, the right angle? Apparently not. That's another way. Basically getting this guy down. And I think this here is the third way. Which was probably the most secure one, to be honest. So, let's reload. This here will spawn a couple of losts, uh, which is not the worst idea. Losts will at least trigger overwatch and so on and so forth. This lets him fall to his death. Swarm of Lost appears. The Swarm of Lost will trigger the overwatch shots. And will provide beautiful targets. Target eliminated. Good, so we're looking at one down, two to go. Luckily for us, we do have a mate protocol here. Unfortunately for us, we've taken six points of damage because of the explosion. Holy moly. Pausing on target position now. Negative damage. Uh, we're in a really tough spot here. I was about to think whether we can run out of line of sight, but probably that isn't even possible. Okay, move up to here, but that's not getting us anywhere because we have blown away the whole part. It's really unfortunate that they could blow the truck away. I mean, this here will be only half cover. We will take two shots. There is a chance if we crit this guy. Uh, 
um, that with critting this guy we can actually one-shot him. Well, or maximum damage, both of uh, that works. Let's hope some of the lost will go to the captain. Uh, I think we're fucked. No, he just overwatched. Beautiful. Alright, close enough. Well, I mean, I like close missions, but it doesn't always need to be that close. Seventy-four uh, percent. So since we're only up against the chosen afterwards, might as well move in. Come on, hit him. There we go. Like I said, that was the most, uh, by far, most difficult part of the mission. We're down to 1 HP, that's okay. I get him next time. Probably going to take a hit from this chosen here, uh, from this uh, lost. Luckily we didn't. in business guys we need to keep our our um, specialist a bit back wouldn't it be nice if the specialist could heal herself like wouldn't a healing pack feel really really well It would, and you know why that is? Because healing packs are actually quite good. Not having them is a very stupid idea. just I was just literally just thinking the same come on how is that even possible took the high ground all of them moved out of line of sight luckily we blocked the entrance here One down. Enemy destroyed. Burning through ammo fast. And two down. Target down. Need and reload overwatch. Back online. I don't want her to die. It might seem wasteful to give her like this A protocol thing uh, this common protocol thing. Probably not triggering headshot either, yeah. Well, it might seem wasteful, but at the end, I think it's a smarter decision. Oh, wow. Not good. Covering now. 
Gosh, we're even too weak to kill the, lo uh, the loss. That is really alarming. Loss are quite so a literal pushover. Not sure how we can even. Oh, my. that's the worst performance that I've seen from rookies. Well, they aren't even rookies. That's the worst thing about it, right? Can't even progress. And these guys are not strong. Oh my gosh. Slowly but surely, we can advance. Not too shabby. On the move. Ready to rock. Position confirmed. So, moving up. Okay. We need to be careful. There is another advent, like, very near. I would like uh, to have our um, specialist this time in the high ground position. And I think that I've seen something back here. Not sure, though. I definitely don't like the fire aspect. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I'm on it. I'll move her over here. The problem with the fire is if it actually starts to ruin the balcony, the whole balcony could collapse and she would die. So let's let the fire settle here. And we're going to give it a try right afterwards. Get it there is an advent uh, mech. Need to be careful. By the way, that's the collapse that I was talking about. Alright, one down. So again, going to Overwatch. The 
The fire is somewhat spreading. But this balcony seems to be okay for now. There is the mech. We need to most likely kill it right away. How could we not have any shredder? So if we would haywire this bad boy... Oh my god. Oh my god. We're looking at a very, very bad chance here. 60%. It's not even really worth it. But hitting it would kill it. 95% good enough. Come on. Minimum damage, but still killed it. Good. Rock and roll. Moving out. Oh yeah. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, so far. Uh, waiting for the next lost swarm to appear. Uh, PCS superior focus is the worst focus, is it worst superior focus that we could have gotten. Still okay, superior focus is never like bad. We could probably level the specialist here and get her a promotion. X-ray neutralized. I'm running low on ammo. Hostile terminated. My weapons reloaded. Good. I think we can advance. I'm on it. Next up we need to go into that very very narrow canyon. And there are still going to be one up to two further advents that we need to deal with uh, who we need to deal with. Uh, might as well take the high ground here. Are we triggering something? Some here. Well, it's probably more two of them then. Wonderful. That means the lost will be even closer. Moving on target location. Move, move, move. Let's wait for the next lost swarm. Probably going to appear this round. I'm ready. So, and in between this uh, swarm and the next, we can try to move on. I'm thinking that we might be able to get almost all the way there. It's just one more, uh, one more advent, uh, advent. Neutralized. We're green to go. Kill confirmed. 
Good. One more advent and we're out of here. Had a bit of a rough start, but it's getting better. God damn it. So uh, so close to a full cover spot. Yep, there is one more advent. Pretty sure. Lost Swarm is really, really close. Let's wait for the other Lost Swarm and maybe the advent uh, is moving into our direction and we can actually Overwatch uh, shoot it. I think we have a pretty solid position up here. Let's get the lost out of the way. Let's get the lost out of the way. And afterwards we're going to engage with Advent. Really, yet another swarm. Target neutralized. Out of ammo here. There we go. She got her lieutenant promotion. Heading there now. Ready to engage. Affirmative. Covering now. Affirmative. Covering now. Still hoping to get the advent. Who's somewhere up here. There we go, let's see Advent finally. Fortunately we missed. Well, maybe the Advent will help us with with the mech. Moving into full cover. Grenade. If the car explodes, uh, the mech uh, will take a lot of damage. So how difficult would it be to shut him down? 60% is not a bad chance against the mech. So what I would propose is... I mean, Comet Protocol would only deal 4 to 5, so it wouldn't kill him. We're out of range, and I really don't want to be hit by, uh, by its uh, rockets. So by shutting it down, it would stand next to the exploding car thus taking four points of damage and being fully shredded also uh, probably is going to be attacked by at least one of the lost There 
there we go, the lost attack. Beautiful. A beautiful. Getting rid of the mech. Do we have any high ground? We do. There's the next Lost Swarm. I just want to be sure that we're not being overrun. Seven hit point loss can be quite difficult to kill. Target neutralized. Gonna need to reload soon. Target eliminated. Negative. Rock and roll. Can't get watching. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're getting them down. Luckily, they still haven't really learned how to climb stairs. Heading out. Hostile target down. And luckily, we have a very good crossfire here. Target neutralized. Running dry. Back in. I'm on it. Good, so no more enemies. After killing like two dozen of them. This was probably the most tedious um, lost mission that I've had in a while. Specifically because the aim of both of the operators wasn't really hot and I'm not a big fan of their loadouts as well. It just felt the uh, the... Uh, uh, the player of this campaign has just put in two random Let's units go. to do the mission and was like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Um, if they are getting ambushed, um, they are going to die. We killed 51 units. It felt like a lot. So at least both of them, I think, have gotten a promotion. And the cool part about M ambush missions is you can actually get two promotions. You can get a promotion from the normal mission and from the ambush mission as well. So you can theoretically be promoted twice. So first, he needs Shredder. Like, what the heck? This was a squaddy. Doc here on the other side. Yeah, could definitely use Field Medic and definitely a medical protocol she's actually a pretty uh, pretty decent medic we just need to get the training labs gone to give her medical protocol and revival protocol and then she could be our number one um, our number one uh, specialist so 
So there we go. Um, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Well, I can see that. I I definitely can see that he would want to get a Reaper as a as a class and a lieutenant on top of it. That's that's a pretty good uh, catch for this uh, whole run. Very good reward. Will increase by four. That's also okay. I'm not all that happy about it, but one of my best people has decided to come join your crew after that last covert action. We might take the elders by surprise um... if we switch up our tactics. Maybe we should try something new. I like the idea of a promotion and ability points. That's pretty good. Aim plus four is also not bad. Um, six days for a promotion. Yeah, that's not bad. That's indeed not bad. Whom could we take? I mean, we got a lieutenant. Theoretically, we could take uh, the Reaper and uh, promote the Reaper to Captain. Uh, do we need to have... Wait a second. So... Promotion. I like to promote our Templar further. And I think we might want to get like uh, one more Grenadier. He's super light on high level Grenadiers. They probably died often. Not enough intel to make sure that they are not wounded, so most likely they are going to be wounded, but the ability points really um, really offer a, a very nice reward for us. And a promotion for, for the Templar will make him even stronger. We've invested a couple of points into the Templar, so might as well start uh, capitalizing on that. Let's just hope your people can keep up. So, immediately I can see with Dead Eye and Squad Side plus Tactical Rigging that that's a pretty decent, um, pretty decent Reaper. So we're going to go for Remote Start, very nice ability. We're going for the additional uh, radius for Shrapnel. We're going for Silent Killer to make sure that he's not going to be uh, spotted out. I like target definition, very strong skill, but uh, we probably have other alternatives that are also not bad, um, such as tactical rigging. Wait a second, does the armor already provide a loadout? No, it doesn't. So. Let's stick with this for a second. I don't want to spend all of the other points. Very well. Not a bad soldier so far. Not a bad soldier at all. Like Nightwalker could be um, super helpful since we already have six uh, man squads. Uh, he's actually going to be extremely helpful. Okay, we'll continue uh, to make contact. It's nothing on this end. Chosen have finally found us, Commander. We need to prepare our defenses. Oh my god. Is he effing kidding me? I will come to you. 
so not only did he screw up the whole tech tree thing, uh, not only did he screw up um, actually getting into the into the um, into the doom timer until it almost ran down, then he got himself into a terror mission, which would completely uh, erase any options to even win the game. Then <laughs> we needed to go into um, into the uh, actual black side uh, facility mission because he hasn't done that before just just to find out just to find out that the chosens in this uh, in this campaign already have collected so much uh, intel he, he must have multiple times he must have screwed up uh, being caught out because elsewise after four months it's impossible to have um, Operation Night Runner so an Avenger assault already that's going to be a brutally tough mission <sighs> okay <laughs> well that's going to happen next uh, next um, run guys I am only mildly looking forward to it I have my fair share of experiences in defending the Avenger with subpar people wow Anyways, thank you so much for watching, have a great evening, and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.